Well, hi there. I'm Colin Lam, aka The Tone Wizard, and I hope you're doing very well wherever it is that you may happen to be. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you very much for asking. And in today's video, I'm going to be looking at Extreme's relatively new song, Rise. Um, it was put out about three months ago, and it was kind of like Extreme was kind of making the rounds if you're into reaction videos or if you, you follow channels like Rick Beato or Professor of Rock and stuff like that. Those are pretty good channels. You should check them out. But I did notice a lot of noise coming out about Extreme, and now I'm at the point where I've got to check it out. Um, my per my own personal recollections of Extreme are pretty are pretty slim to be honest with you. Of course, I remember More Than Words, which came out in 1990 when I was about six years old. I think I would have been. I do remember that song because it was on the radio incessantly for like I would say the next five years. And if you were in a grocery store or a doctor's waiting room, you know, waiting to get that weird lump checked out. Um, you, you'd be hearing the, the soft sounds of extreme and that wonderful ballad. I, 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 I can play two thirds of it on the guitar and a friend of mine embarrassingly uh, butchered it once around a campfire, trying to win the favor of some fair maidens who thought um, that, that we were not good as musicians and uh, they'd never heard the song. That's another story, but I thought I would check this out because I, I had an instant memory of of Extreme um, pertaining to the track more than words. And I remember my stepdad, who, if you could say he enjoyed six beers a day, you could also say he enjoyed 23 beers. But what you could really say was that the 24th beer of the day is really probably where it's at if you're, if you're looking to drink. Now, my stepdad, if you can imagine Gordon Lightfoot with a different head, all the denim and uh, none of the, of the crooning, um, of, the, of the crooning good songwriter. But anyways, he, I remember I was watching this video with him late one night, he's smoking a dart, just the cherry lighting up his eyes in the dim smoke filled room, our living room back, back in the day when, you, when your parents would smoke with the windows closed and I, I turned out just fine. <laughs> um, but, uh, I do remember them just, we had a, we had white walls. My mom had goose print, um, uh, wallpaper as was in fashion at the time. Everything was fucking gooses for a, a lot of years. I don't know why, but anyways, there was white, white paint above the wallpaper and it, it slowly over time was turned yellow from the sagrit smoke and look at the tone wizard. If it made me go bald, that's a small price to pay for my, my parents' enjoyments of 2 billion cigarettes. On another note, I remember sitting on the couch with my stepdad and this song came on much music. We were watching it late at night. I don't know what we were doing. Um, just, you know, he would let me stay up and, and late and watch TV with him from time to time. And we, we would have a chat. But I remember Extreme, the More Than Words song came on. And I remember him saying to me, you know, these guys, these guys are, are educated. Like these, these guys are qualified. They went to school. These aren't just, you know, your average run of the mill band. These guys know what they're doing. They know the notes or whatever. And I never really was sure what he meant uh, about that, but I did actually research a little bit, um, into extreme before doing this. And, um, I, I couldn't find anything that said they went to, you know, what's that, that, that famous musical academy in London, uh, the conservatory or whatever it is. I don't remember, but I didn't find anything in that effect. So uh, my stepdad passed away, sadly, a, a couple of years back, and we'll never know the truth of what he was talking about. But anyways, let, let's get one crack in here. I got a beer here, um, and it's it's a green can, so it just looks like I'm I'm drinking on the metaphysical planes here, folks. I've already, I've already had one. It's Thursday. And uh, the week is coming to a conclusion, and the Tone Wizard's going to get a little loose here. So this is a long intro, so I, I, I do not apologize, by the way. And there's some ASMR for you freaking freaks out there listening to somebody. I'm making all those weird fucking noises on TikTok in the dead of the night. Just taking a quick skim through the comments here, there's a lot of reverence for this band um, that still exists. A lot of old fans have come out of the, squirming out of the woodworks here. But I'm glad, uh, Gus Vizard says, I'm glad millions of new folks now know what the rest of us have been saying for decades. Nuno is the man, and I guess that's the, guitar, the lead guitar player. Nuno Bet Betancourt, I think is his name. And uh, thank you to Rick Beato for the heads up on this solo and the hype was true. The solo just melted my face. So we're going to get a good solo in here. And it's got Rick Beato's um, endorsement. Goosebumps all over. Nuno just came up with the solo of the century. It's it's only been 23 years, but I'll take this guy's word for it. The fact that EVH is no longer with us and 
witness this mind-blowing guitar solo from Nuno. This was like a tribute to the legendary. All right, so I'm I'm stoked. Let's let's have a look look at this thing. All right, so without any further ado, this is Extreme's new track Rise on the Tone 98 point tone. enough money I, I don't think this is that far off what any 60 year old man would do with his free time by the way take a bite of your life don't you waste it rather light now roll the thunder you're the chosen one I'm gonna lift you up straight to you the top I'm gonna raise you up they rip you apart I'm gonna lift you up watch you they've got like the post Post hair band look going on. Tasty runs that he's throwing in there. answer with the guitar. Sound too. They, they, they stay true to that big 80s snare. Hmm. Well, that certainly was fun. Um, 
I, I got to say, maybe, maybe I had a little bias going into this because I kind of remembered them from the cheesy ballad and um, the uh, the hair band kind of days. And I'm not going to say to you, to be honest with you, that that was really my cup of tea. Um, and, and, you know, on my channel, I, I always try and stay away from watching stuff that I know will elicit a negative opinion. And I don't think I have a negative opinion of that track. I think it was a, a, a pretty good track. Um, Nuno Bencourt, um absolutely slayed on the guitar there. Um, dressed like a MILF you might meet at the Legion uh, at about 11.30 on a on a Friday night. I don't know if somebody comes up to you dressed like that. They're either going to shred an amazing guitar solo and blow your fucking mind, or they're going to be like, yeah, and spill half a Michelob Ultra on you. Either way, you're going to have an interesting night. But I'm glad that I checked it out because I was curious as to what they were up to. I might check out some of their other tracks um, in the work truck at some point. But yeah, you know, not everybody's going to like everything. And I, I, I'm glad that they're back rocking. Uh, and I'm glad that somebody's still shredding like that. And long way they rule long way they reign thank you very much for watching this video if you've enjoyed it um, please feel free to browse around my channel and check out some of my other stuff uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel take very good care of yourself and i will see you at some point that is not now